How's it going guys? Rainmaker Fix here and in today's video we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the new Elite 75 the most high figure from the wave Pete Dunn. But before we get started don't forget to drop me a comment down below give this video a quick like and coup de gras the subscribe button for more and let's get this thing started. So here we have the figure in its packaging. On the, here we have the figure on the front side. Because with some accessories, well, we should go. We will go more in depth later in the video once we have it all in box. On the side of the packaging, we have a render of Pete Dunn with his updated look with the long hair and the facial hair. On the back of, of the box, we have a quick description of Pete Dunn, his career highlights. You know, winning the UK title, his weight and height, and where he's from. And on the bottom of the of the figures, we have the rest of the figures in the wave, which are Seth Rollins, which I picked up, and we should have a video coming up very soon, probably in the next couple of days. I'm gonna say maybe in the next two days it should be out. The Jeff Hardy, which I'm thinking about picking up, but I'll probably wait on it. Pete Dunn, of course, Kalisto, which I also picked up, should be a video coming up with about that figure shortly. And the Hurricane, you gotta stand back when the Hurricane is coming through. Like the figure a lot. Didn't pick it up, but maybe in the future I will. And the Mandy Rose, which is probably, out of all these figures, I picked up these three, but that's probably the figure I'm gonna pick up next because I love the female figures. I think they're they're super nice and super underrated also. On the other side of the packaging, we have another, a real life picture of Pete Dunn, which I'm, I'm not sure where he used his attire. It's probably from an NXT show or something. Because, like, I don't think it's from the Royal Rumble of last year. But I could be wrong. Let me know in the comments down below if you know when he wore his attire. And that's it. Now let's get this thing unboxed. And I'll catch you guys in the next part. And here we have the figure out of its packaging. First, let's go over its accessories. It comes with one of its entrance codes. Similar to the one that came with the first uh, Pete Dunne Elite. Target exclusive, just a different color. I'll be comparing that later. L love the black and gold though. It comes with interchangeable hands. The first one's being like a fist hand and then like a grabbing hand. And then, you know, they have the other ones that he's wearing, which are the same ones. And finally, it comes with the UK belt, which is beautiful. This is my first UK belt. I was it. I wasn't lucky enough to get the the Tyler Bate Elite, which came with this. But I'm happy to have this now. Love the, the design. It looks just like the real thing. Even though on the new one, they switched the logo. Now it's just NXT and doesn't have the WWE logo. But it's cool enough. Mine came a bit, like, warped, I would say. So it's like, when you bend it, it's like, the place try to pop off. But it's cool. I could try to fix that or get one of my WWE title belts and swap all this into that. Which I'm probably going to do that after this video. Now let's look at the figure itself. At first glance, I like the figure, but there's some stuff that I'm not a fan of. Like, first look at the stuff I'm a fan of. Like, the head scan is on point. You can see it looks just like Pete Dunn. It's perfect. Love the, sc the sculpting on the side and on the hair. It's beautiful. So you can see like the detail on it. It's amazing. Lo love the mouthpiece that he has in his mouth. The beard is awesome. That That's a, a pro, I would say. But the con is, I don't know if it's just my figure, but the head is pretty loose. Like... I don't know if you can see, but it's like super loose on the neck peg. I don't know. I'm, like, can you hear that? It's like a Morocco. I don't know if it's just mine, but check your figures. It could be a thing going around with all of them. But mine is like pretty wobbly. Second, the torso. On camera, you, can, you can't really tell, but it's really not that well painted on the chest. I know that they usually paint everything black and then they paint the skin tone after. But it just see I don't know if you can see, but see see like just like 
bad paint job on it on the back too like right there now let's look at this you can see this, the details on the sides not a fan of that that still bothered me we got some gold designs i'm not sure what it is looks some medieval stuff maybe you know it has regular hand regular arms i mean with black wrist tape and all and i noticed too that in my last pete dunn figure the right hand is pretty loose same with this one i don't think i think it's something that all the pete duns have but they're always loose see i'm gonna to try to fix that really he has black kick pads which you which are awesome they because you can use them for customs and stuff and he has his knee tattoo yeah so i think they used mm, i think i used the, i think they used a different torso i'm not sure let me get the other pete done so we can do a quick comparison here we have the other pete done and i don't know which one i prefer more head scan for sure the newer one is better but i think i might do a fix up let me know down below you want me to do the fix up where i'm gonna switch the kick pads and switch the head scan onto this body because i'm not a fan of this and you can even bend the arms all the way like let's see let me move to this side like look and then you try to push them down they're not all the way in sad but i might just switch the head scan and the kick pad onto this figure see how that looks like okay, this figure's compared to this one's way better except for the head scan you guys know what i mean like body wise this is this is the better figure now let's get to the next segment i'm gonna put all accessories on them and see what you guys think here guys we had the figure with all of the accessories on and it looks awesome with the black you know the black entrance coat and all the black suit but the stone proof they can do it's a perfect figure don't get me wrong i like this figure it's just i don't know something in something with the chest i'm not a fan of here we have the, the older one you guys choose which one is the better one i'm liking this one more for the head scan but i'm probably gonna switch 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 this head scan to that uh body because i prefer this one even though it's the same figure i'm not man i don't know what i'm saying i prefer this one over that but i prefer that attire i don't know so I'm, let me just put these stand up put the belt on them So I hope you guys like this video. Drop me a quick comment down below. Say which one you prefer. The old one or the new one. And coup de gras that subscribe button for more. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.